So first thing you're gonna do is open the door. And then on the driver's side, right here on the left side below the steering wheel, you're gonna see a little car with the hood open emblem. You're just gonna take that and pull back, you'll hear a pop. That's the safety disengaging. When you come back to the front of the car, if you bend down right above that Chevy emblem, you'll see this little tab here. And you'll just push that to the right and you'll lift the hood up. So it'll look like this. Put your hand up, slide it over, and lift. And here is that tab right there. So you're just going to push that over and it will release. So now that we have the hood open, we're going to check our oil. This yellow dipstick here is our oil. Here's where we fill our oil. Here's where we check it. So it's best to check your oil after you've let your car, say, sit overnight. Then you can just walk out, pull up the dipstick. You can see what level it's at, and it's precise. If your car's been running, such as this one, we're going to pull it up. We're actually going to take a cloth, and we are going to clean off our dipstick, and then we're going to push it back down in the hole, and then we're going to pull that up. So this one is showing that it's in the range. And so the range you can see is, you'll see, this one has a checkered pattern and it's from here on the dipstick to here. And I'm currently sitting about here, it's running, so it's probably a little higher. So this oil is fine. If you need to add oil, what you'll do is you'll look at the oil filler cap right here. And this says it uses 5W30. Your cap should tell you what you need. If not, look at your owner's manual. And so you will just remove that and you'll add the oil directly to here. Don't take the oil and just pour it in. This is not a funnel. You can see there's dust there. So it's best to use a funnel as you pour it in there. After you're done, pour it in there and check. Do not overfill your oil. And best of luck. Hopefully this helps. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. To close, you're simply just going to lower it down. That's the safety right there. And then you'll just use two hands. Push down and it is closed. And hopefully this helps. And as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Arr!